Right, welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to install real VNC on the um, Raspberry Pi, but using Ubuntu 20.10. So, Raspberry Pi, as you may well know, is this little computer here. This is the, the web page for the Raspberry Foundation. They have their own operating system, which you can download here. It's called Raspberry Pi OS. The problem with this is that it only comes with a 32-bit uh, operating system, so they still don't have available the 64-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS. So, what I did was I downloaded the... I think it's called a daily version something for the, the upcoming Ubuntu 20.10 and I installed it on my... Raspberry Pi as you can see here so it's running Ubuntu 20.10 the architecture is a arch 64 it, it's the same as arm 64 so it's the Raspberry Pi 4 uh, blah blah the kernel is 580 for the Raspberry Pi I've already overclocked it to 2 gigahertz I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. So what's the problem here? The problem is that real VNC, I already opened the, the page here, you can come to VNC Connect and you can download the server version for this VNC server for the Raspberry Pi. which you can download here but the file I've already downloaded, I already have it here this is the, the most recent version uh, VNC Server 672 but this architecture is for a 32-bit operating system it's for the Raspberry Pi OS which is only 32-bit but the Ubuntu that I have here is 64-bit so there's a difference in the architecture one is 64 and the other is 32 so, what we can do right now to show you the architectures that I have now installed on this Ubuntu. <clears throat> okay, you can see here that I already have um, installed this RMHF is the 32-bit of the ARM architecture. This is 32-bit which I, I installed by doing this command here by the way I'll leave all the commands in the description of the video so you can easily get them later so you don't, you don't have to pay attention to what I'm doing here so by doing this sudo uh, I, I installed the 32-bit ARM architecture which is now you can see it's installed here then it's very important that you do this you update the repositories so that so that Ubuntu knows how to get the 32-bit versions of the applications next I installed an application let's wait for it to finish Okay, finally finished. Now I'll install this application here, libx11-6. Uh, okay, it's installed just to make sure. And then we need to get 10 files from this website here. It's a website that Raspberry Pi uses to make their own uh, Raspberry Pi OS the operating system so we need to get 10 of these libraries I'll leave the description of the um, of the libraries in, in the description of the video so you, you know exactly which ones to get but for example one of them is libbcm host so libbcm host one, one of the files you need is this one here so you just click on it 
and then you download it download you download to somewhere on your on your file system so I already have them all of them here so it's 10 files all of them are here 10 items selected so I already have them here so we need to copy all of those files to the URS lib folder to do that we can open Nautilus uh, with sudo so you need to be administrator to be able to to save files to the to the URS lib other locations computer URS lib so this is the folder and, and the files are already here for example this one is the lib libc host so the files are here but what you would need to do is just select all of the files here from whenever you downloaded them and copy them through over to URS lib drag and drop so I'm not I'm just gonna cancel because the files are already there then you can close it you can close the window I'll just minimize this now let's install gdebi this will allow us to manually install the deb file so it's already installed gdebi is already installed but to install this file here we need gdebi to be able to install it manually so i'll just i'll go to this folder here cd share let's so here is the file see vnc server which is this file here so to I just install it quickly it's already installed but let's try it install it again <coughs> so what I'm installing here is this file you see here it's on the desktop and then share folder uh, do you want to install it no I'm not going to install it now because I already have it installed but hopefully everything will go according to plan everything will install perfectly fine as long as you have those 10 files in the URS lib folder if you don't have them there you'll have lots of errors next let's enable the services there are two services that need to be enabled so that they boot whenever you you turn on the system they need to be enabled to start at that time so one command is this one here All of these commands will be in the video description. Another one is this, it's starting the service right now. Starting the service. So these two first commands will enable these two services to start whenever you boot the system up. And these two commands are to uh, um, start the services immediately right now as I put that command the service starts next you can if you have um, a real VNC account which is free for personal use you can control up to five computers through the cloud so, so through the internet you can be in Los Angeles and you have a computer at home in London for example let's say and you will be able to control the computer through the cloud through real VNC uh, website and services for that you need to put here your email and your password for your account if you don't have an account or you don't want to use an account you can still control remotely your Raspberry Pi through the IP address so I can cancel this and then at this moment you should have real VNC ready to to work so if you just restart the computer oh and by the way just make clear I'm what you're seeing here I'm doing it remotely through VNC already okay so these things here this is related to VNC so I'll just restart restart the computer
because the, there's another extra step that you need to do in order for this to function correctly hmm. by default Ubuntu I think it's since version 18.04 that the login screen is presented to you using Wayland after you log in everything what you see on the screen is presented to you using X but real VNC only uses X so they cannot use Wayland so basically this means that you will not be able to see the login screen if you don't do the next step I'm going to show you so from the, the first time that you install real, real VNC you will not be able to see your login screen it's a little slow the Raspberry Pi is not a fast machine and it's booting from the micro SD card so it's not fast at all okay <clears throat> the first time that you reboot the machine after installing uh, real VNC you will not see this you will just see a message that uh, real VNC cannot cannot connect to the host to the server so how did I get here let me show you <clears throat> we just need to edit another file Let's open terminal. <coughs> and on the terminal, we'll just paste the command. This is the command. Okay, and this th th this is the problem here. When I first came here, th this this was like it was. So I had to delete this, uh, not an asterisk, whatever you call this. I, don't know, I can't remember what this is called. This thing is called. So you need to delete this thing and save the file. Reboot, and you will be able to connect to the login screen using real VNC. So I hope this video helps someone. Uh, I've spent hours trying to do this, trying to watch videos on the internet, trying to watch forums, see forums to find the solution. Uh, I had to mix several sources to get to this final conclusion. So, I hope this helps someone. Okay, bye-bye.